Professor Rohde, what sparked this book? Shoes, actually. <laughs> Uh, which is not at the top of the women's rights agenda in a country where 20 million women live in poverty, 4 million are victim of domestic violence. I wouldn't say that shoes are the number one issue of concern, but it is what got me thinking about all the ways that women are held back literally and figuratively by their shoes. And it was being trapped with a group of very high-powered women uh, at a, a meeting of the American Bar Association's Commission on Women. Uh, and we were trying to get um, between distant meeting points and there was a huge cab line and a bomb scare in the tube and the queen mother was having a birthday so everything was we needed to walk and i was with three women who were unable to do this given their uh, aesthetic choices in their footwear and I was struck by that experience and coming back on the plane from London was reading one of the tabloid summer issues about shoe sales and seeing four inch heels and um, other choices that you just knew were a setup for problems. And it turns out that 80% of women have foot or back problems largely connected um, to their footwear. And so in the course of that flight, I began just penning an op-ed about women's uh, um, uh, experience and my assumption that if you were a true misogynist, the last um, refuge for you would be in designing women's footwear. And the New York Times ran it as an op-ed, and it probably got more response than anything that I've ever written. People just